Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2. We're going to continue right where we left off and we need alliances with the countries that border me in Europe. So I want trade, I want alliance, and I'll give you military access. So this is Westphalia. Accepted. We have a new ally. Wurttemberg. They in the past have accepted the same thing. And there we go. Bam. Almost instantly we have created a sort of France and satellite states place out here. Savoy, uh, we have trade with them, but we're actually hostile. So I, um, how about an alliance? They want a lot of money. However, I don't want to pay them, and I don't need military access. I'll give them military access, and I will actually pay them 1,000. Just because I don't want... Oh, hey, that worked. But now we have allies bordering us, all land borders. Britain, however, and the United Provinces are still probably going to be a problem. Um, so, United Provinces will... The question is, who will I be at war with first? And I don't really know for now, but... We have some more alliances to make, actually, over here in America with the Native Americans. So we have here um, these six nations. I don't know why they're renamed. They will always, every time I played, they have declared war on me. So their enemies, the Cree, become my allies. And these guys, for whatever reason, like to attack me just when they get a chance. Allies. Just keep them from doing that. Uh, Cherokee. Oh, we can't. There. Uh, we have military access, though, in a, a bunch of these different Native American nations. But they're enemies with the Spanish, so I can't be their allies. Over Pueblo. Uh, not worth it because generally it seems like the Spanish will just destroy them. And also, if you guys haven't noticed yet, I um. I control what Louisiana would because of this mod. Oh, and they're enemies with Spain too, even though they're very friendly with me for some reason. Historical friendship. Interesting. But Britain is really the main bully we need to be worrying about. The worst the Dutch can do is take maybe Guyana and raid some stuff. But I would like to have them out of the way because Amsterdam is... um a pretty wealthy place. So what we always I like to do first is I send this navy in here to protect against Barbary States raids. Over here, I'm going to send this guy into the port. So no matter who we go to war with, he can. Our ships here will. I said ships uh, here. I'll just have these guys go here for now. Our ships will be able to take him in one turn to wherever he needs to go. We have a missionary. Um, let's see. 4%. He'll, he'll go over there. And he'll also act as sort of a spy. Not really, but... Now that Württemberg is my ally, I can call these guys back to uh, Paris. And not have to worry about them so much. We do have a... The thing is that we have to worry about is um, the Netherlands, they can, uh, if they declare war on Spain really fast, they can take this region, and I don't want that to happen because then they're closer to me. So I am interested in Spain holding Flanders for basically the rest of the campaign, probably. Probably. Uh, unless I become strong enough to just destroy Spain, and then that might happen. So, it has become necessary in the past to have a small garrison force, so that when the the uh, Dutch come to siege Brussels. I will be present for the battle. I'll help the Spanish. They'll, the Dutch will be repelled, and the Spanish will gain the upper hand, be able to outproduce the Dutch, and maybe even take Amsterdam by themselves, or I'll just go in and take it. It'll be easy. The British here, um, they haven't had their first turn yet or anything, but... Whoops. You see their army. Their armies are, you know, not that strong, but the thing about major cities, lots of... Um, Armed populants. Armed citizens, I mean, whatever. Um, so, that could be a problem. We have enough armies to actually um, 
defeat their armies, but the thing is defeating both, so we will have to build up our forces before we try to do anything. Um, I'm just going to put a few guys... Um, into this sort of garrison force here. And... Oh, they have the same maintenance. This militia are worse. Um, and they'll, they can move into Brussels and secure um, the Spanish holdings there if we need them to. Um, now, over here. Um, the British in the past have ar an army somewhere around here and they can come up and basically take any region at will, which is annoying. And we, I, it would be really difficult for me to outproduce the British in the New World like that. Um, but uh, and these Native American units are cheap. And look at that, 250 range and 50 accuracy. You'll see that range has been modded on a lot of the units. And so you'll have to kind of get used to what things are now. We we'll have a Navy here. And I'm going to send this Navy... Um, it's actually a bad idea. Send this Navy over here. And here... Here too, actually. Both of these places will be training small armies here to defend in case we go to war with the Dutch. Here to take the pirates' homeland thing. Here, this army. I want up there for when I go to war with the Six Nations. And these are all low yield buildings. And I I figured something out, which I probably should have known before. Like, yield, that's why um, the uh, different buildings would produce different amounts. Like, in my Spanish campaign, I was finding different plantations would do different amounts. That's basically um, any production building like this would do that. An interesting thing here, though, you can see that the borders for the Cherokee lands end here. Yet, this is still Cherokee territory, and I can walk through it. But it's still theirs. They still control things on it, which is it's just weird. I, and on the map, it appears to be theirs, the whole thing. So, I don't really even know. Um gonna recruit some of those Native Americans that are just so cheap and delicious. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, anyway, these guys, because um, war is almost certain, go there, already start converting them. Look at that conversion rate. Oh, animism is still rising too, which is annoying, but we'll solve that. And... I would like it if I would be able to um, avoid a war with either the British or the Dutch, but we have to see if they're allied. They are allied, which is annoying. They have this like Protestant alliance thing going, except like Portugal, and I don't remember what religion Hanover is, but anyway, not that important. Uh, what we need to do now, we're going to build up our army here a little bit, and... I hear sounds in my house. I might have to, might have to uh, be right back. I don't know at any time. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. And um, so we got armies coming up. We already have a, a lot of men. Let's just get an idea. I'm I'm gonna count militia as line infantry because in many ways they are similar. They're almost as good. Uh, five line infantry, six, seven. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1 cavalry. Votre humble serviteur. Oui, yeah, we have 1 cavalry, 2 generals, and 3 artillery batteries. So that is a pretty good army already. I'd like to get some probably guards because I, for those armed citizens, I want to kill them in melee. And guards are good at that. So we're looking at the melee stats and morale. 10, 17, 10, 14, 19, 10. Notice a uh, better attack here on the cheaper unit. But 9 morale, which is basically ridiculous either way. But the thing is, um, these Royal Accusé, or however it's pronounced, um, their accuracy is worse than the others. And they're, since um, the change in price from the next best unit isn't that much, and they are still, both of them are um, 
ridiculously good at melee anyway, so I'll get some of these guys. And my I'm making two thousand uh, dollars a turn, so we should be in an acceptable starting position. I'm let's see this. I'm not going to upgrade because it gets raided by the Six Nations anyway. Um, they have a building we can upgrade at France. This farm is low yield. This farm is average yield. We'll do this farm first. But we still have money. And it only takes one turn to build, so that's good. And let's end the turn. And actually, I'm going to end this episode. Sorry, I ran out of time. But we'll take our first turn next episode. Thanks for watching.